this video i will talk about round function of ms excel we use this function to round any given number to a specific amount of decimal places syntax for this function is equal to round then number and second parameter is number of digits that means if we have any value and we want to round that value to a specific number of digits after decimal point then we use this round function i have created one example here so i will use the round function now for this value i want to give zero decimal places so how can we use this round function equal to round open parenthesis i will select the value comma then either i can give reference to this cell where i have written zero or i can directly write zero so this value has been converted into single digit why because we have given second parameter as zero now if i use the number of digit i mean second parameter as one so what will happen to this value let's check equal to round value comma and one close parenthesis enter so this value has been converted to 3.5 so let me uh, tell you some background like the last digit 8 is getting converted into one and adding one value to this eight making it nine then it is adding one to this to make it six then this digit will add one to seven to make it eight and this will add one value to four to make it five and eventually we get 3.5 next let's check with the two number of digits equal to round open parenthesis value comma now i take this close parenthesis 2.48 here i have used minus 1 then minus 2 and minus 3 as number of digits so let's check how it works equal to round open parenthesis then value comma minus one close parenthesis enter now we can see that there is no decimal place in this value and moreover the last digit of value this four has been converted to zero so this is how we can use minus numbers as second parameter in round function so let me use minus 2 as well equal to round value comma then minus 2 and last equal to round value comma and number of digits close parenthesis here so this is how we can use round function for our different kinds of requirement in numbers thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thanks